Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Red Wolf TV. I'm Tim, and today we'll be going over the APS CAM 870 Magnum shell ejecting pump action shotgun. Realism is the name of a game when it comes to this awesome new shotgun from APS. This thing operates, handles, and fires like the real thing. And I will show you how. All the usual expected controls of a pump action shotgun are there. Once you've inserted the shell, you rack it forward to chamber it, unsafe the weapon, and then you fire. But the shotgun's depth of realism goes much further than that, as the majority of the realism is attributed to the shell design. The design of the APS shell borrows concept from a real shotgun, as the propellant is contained in the shell itself. It uses shot cups or wads to air seal the projectile against the barrel. Striking the back of a shell fires the shotgun, ejecting the projectile through the barrel and eventually out of it, which probably explains why there is no inner barrel, as the space is needed to eject the wad. Having the propellant in the shell itself means that you can keep on firing the APS shotgun so long as you have a supply of loaded shells. And the shells itself can contain up to 12 BBs, that's probably 12 BBs, which is the most that any other shotgun shell in the airsoft market can hold to date. Not taking into account Moscow grenade launchers, because they're launchers, and this is a shotgun, and they're launchers. Now I know what you're thinking, there is a flaw to this design. Since there is no inner barrel, there is no hopper, giving the APS shotgun an effective range of about 15 meters before the BBs start to drop. But don't worry, APS say that every single BB will be flying at a velocity of around 280 FPS. So if you're wearing light armor, you'll feel it. And if you're wearing a heavy milsim attire, you'll definitely hear it. You're probably thinking, this is not a very skirmishable shotgun, and you'd be right. But standing erect in front of me is a shell catcher, catching every ejected shell. This full metal and real wood shotgun weighs 2.7 kilos, which is six pounds. Lengthwise, it's 101 cm, which is just under 40 inches. Whilst nobody is stopping you from taking this to an actual skirmish, you'll still be spending 30 minutes during every break regassing each cartridge and refilling each and every single shell. But now, I will show you how to do that. APS have included this proprietary gas charger to charge the cartridge itself. It comes in two parts, but as you might have noticed, I've somewhat set it up already. But this is how you do that. First, you had to set the gas flow, removing the cap and inserting the capsules. Head first, head last. Well, thank you, random stranger. This is how you go about charging the gas. Insert the shell like so. Screw it in tightly. Pull the shell down. Open the valve for three seconds, then close the valve, pop it back up, unscrew the top, then release the shell. If you find the red shell cover too boring, you can have it in blue or transparent. If you want to buy more wads and caps, there are plenty more available. As you can see from the 10 meter range test, only 10 out of 12 BBs actually hit the target, which is not bad for grouping wise, considering that is average distance you'll be whilst you're entering a room trying to clear it. As we mentioned before, this is not the most skirmishable shotgun, as people would probably be using it for APSC competitions, as it handles much like the real thing. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. If you haven't watched some of our previous videos, I suggest you take a look at these. Do subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with our newest and coolest videos.